You know, as governor, I'm working every day to move North Carolina forward. Better jobs, higher wages, better schools, safer streets, healthier communities. And I try to work with this legislature whenever I can to get things done. Forward is the only way ahead. But I know one thing for certain. Standing in the way of progress right now is this Republican supermajority legislature that only took 48 hours to turn the clock back 50 years on women's health. And that's exactly what this bill does. It makes women jump through additional hoops and navigate a wicked obstacle course just to get care. It puts trusted clinics at risk of closing. It stops medication abortion after 10 weeks. It tells doctors how and when to practice medicine and threatens them with fines and criminal charges if they don't do it like the politicians want them to do. They say, they say they passed this bill because they care about the lives of children. Really? Really? Then why not invest significantly more to reduce infant mortality in this state? Why not fully fund public education? Instead of giving millionaires yet another tax break and pay for their children's private school voucher. Why not pay our children's teachers what they deserve? Why not pass common sense legislation that deals with the fact that gunfire has surpassed car accidents as the number one cause of injury deaths for children in this state. They say they passed this bill because they care about mothers. then why not invest more in quality child care? So their children can learn and they can go to work. Why not invest more to reduce the number of women who die in childbirth? Why not equal pay for equal work? And by the way, happy Mother's Day weekend to all the moms who are here. And especially our amazing First Lady, Kristen Cooper, who is here with us today. Along with one of my amazing daughters, Hillary, who is here today. And I know my mom, the best public school teacher in the history of North Carolina, is looking down on us and smiling today. I know that she is. Let's be clear. This bill has nothing to do with making women safer and everything to do with banning abortion. There is a reason why the North Carolina Medical Society 
the OBGYN Society, the North Carolina Academy of Family Physicians, all oppose this bill. How about leave the medicine to the doctors and the decisions to the women? Now, we've heard Republican legislators claiming that this bill is a mainstream compromise. Let me tell you what. Mainstream bills don't get written in secret. Kept under lock and key. Introduced in the dark of night. Kept from public input. Protected from any amendments and then get rammed through in less than 48 hours. Which is, by the way, shorter than the mandatory 72 hours they make women wait for health care after the first appointment. There is nothing, nothing mainstream about this bill. They hid the dirty details of it. You know why? Because they didn't want you to show up. They know North Carolinians do not want abortion bans. So they dressed this up and they tried to disguise it. But together, we have showed up and we have exposed it. We have to stop this ban. So today, right there, I'm going to veto it. But we are going to have to kick it into an even higher gear when that veto stamp comes down. If just one Republican in either the House or the Senate keeps a campaign promise to protect women's reproductive health, we can stop this ban. But that's going to take every single one of you to make calls, to send emails, to write letters. Tell them to sustain this veto. Tell them to ask the Republican leadership to stop it. Now, there are four legislators who made these promises. But I think there may be more who know in their hearts and minds that this is bad. Most of them, and these legislators can tell you that, most of them didn't get to see the bill until we saw it. Some may not have realized how horrible this actually is. Tell them, tell them. Tell them that we need to stop going back to the last century and move forward. Tell them that politicians shouldn't push their way into the exam room with women and their doctors. Tell them that women's lives depend on stopping this ban. Now we need people all over the state to learn how bad this bill is. And maybe it'll be a friend, a family member, a minister, or even a doctor 
of one of these Republican legislators who convinces them to step up and do the right thing. If just one Republican follows his or her conscience, if just one Republican finds the courage, if just one Republican listens to doctors, if just one Republican is unafraid to stand up to the political bosses, if just one Republican keeps that promise made to the people, then we can stop this ban. But first, this bad bill needs a return to cinder. This bad bill needs a veto. I veto this bill. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.